Okay, well, here we go. We're going to go on our next topic. <laughs> um, uh, 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 Ian, why don't you give us your topic? Well, there, there's a problem. I, I forgot my second topic. <laughs> you forgot your second topic, huh? <laughs> yeah, we, we talked about it earlier, and um, I'm trying to remember. Oh, that's what it was. So, tonight, uh, it was a little bit interesting, but I kind of want to know what your significant others think about you playing games and doing this podcast. Do they get mad at you sometimes, uh, trying to set aside, uh, altering their very busy schedule, and uh, you know, wanting to, uh, you know, you want to do these things, and do do they ever come in the way of you and your significant other? Well, I think yes, there are arguments I, over it. I think there is a balance that needs to be had, and I think that. We, as enthusiastic and passionate video game individuals, can uh, uh, lose sight of that at times, and I think that it is very easy to get engulfed in our hobbies. Um, I think right. there is, I think there is a balance that needs to be done. I think we can't overdo it at times. And I, personally, my, my significant other is has patience of a saint. It is good, um, but there are times where. We will have arguments about particular things kind of just going overboard. Um, because, you know, video games and hobbies are not the only thing in your life. You have work. You have other things. You have friends. You have to balance a lot of different stuff. And so, you know, there's Metal Gear Solid Five came out. And I made a no secret about that. absolutely loving that game. That's and very I spent a lot of time playing it. And, in you know with the sacrifice of like kind of sitting in front of a TV and, and hanging out or something like that. So yeah, there's definitely been arguments and like, I think we do better than most people, but it is certainly hilarious when I see memes come out on the internet about like text messages <laughs> about, about like things like fallout four where, where they're like, Hey, you know, uh, wait, why are you so excited? He's like, Oh yeah, I just got fallout four. And she's like, um, she's like, Oh, I guess I won't see you for a while. I was like, yeah, you're not going to see me for a long time. She's like, oh, but I'm so much cuter. He's like, yeah, but I didn't wait seven years for you. Like, there's just like this, <laughs> seven like seven years for you. You know what I mean? There's That's like horrible. there are these there are these things that like people get really really attached to, and I don't know. I mean, we can open this up to like, I guess we can open this up to like potentially. I don't know, Ian. This is your topic, but like, my mind tends to go to people who put a lot of attention towards things like work or things like hobbies. <laughs> Or even potentially friends, um, and they put so much time into it that it, it's an unbalance in the family kind of X thing that they're they're doing. Um, right. In which case, like I don't know, like yeah, that 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 can't be good. It's gotta be it's gotta be balanced. And there's ebb and flows, I guess, in my mind. There's things, you know, there's just times where work is really uh, loaded. At least in my mind, work's well, really loaded, and that's where it's taking a lot of the the time. And, and and I agree with you there. And honestly, my, my wife is really cool, laid back. She's very understanding. She understands that I always tell her my hobby is video games. You know, I don't watch TV. I don't do everything else. I just, when I come home from a days of work, you know, I don't want to sit at the TV and just watch it. No, I want to go and play a video game, chill with my buddies and stuff like that. So, and even on a Friday night, honestly, I don't like to go out to a bar. I'd rather sit here and drink beer and play a game with one of you guys. Yeah. So... Um, that's how I explained Absolutely. it. And she is totally cool with it, but like, tonight, you know, uh, they were all tailgating at a concert, weren't even going inside, and I was like, hey, I just have this thing to do at 9 o'clock tonight. Totally cool, but when 8 o'clock rolls around, I'm like, hey, I'm about to go. Boom. That's when everyone's like, well, why are you leaving? No, 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 no. You gonna go do that? It's like, yeah, you yeah. know, it's it's like sometimes, like, that's what I put my time aside for. I came and I balanced it. I didn't just say, hey, I can't do anything Friday night, you know, but um, there, there's there been times where we have plans to go do something and I forget. I'm not going to lie. I'm not perfect. I'm semi-perfect. Yeah. Um, but uh, she's like, hey, we got to leave in like 20 minutes. And I'm like, holy shit, I'm in a game right now. Give me 15, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Clay yeah. just went in, tower dope. I'm trying yeah, to yeah. shit. <laughs> he don't give no fucks. <laughs> but, yeah, there's there's just sometimes, yeah, I, I'm not going to lie, that I don't give the necessary time and attention to things, but um, okay. has there been, like, 
situations where you're like, holy shit, I'm just trying to finish this. And they're like, no, we need to go now. And you're like, I'm not fucking leaving because I'm going to be reporting. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so here, here's my thought. Here's my narrow, ignorant thought on that topic. Like, wouldn't – I mean, aren't there just so many worse things that we could potentially be addicted to? <laughs> well, like, she says that. And she tells people that. They're like – like, someone will say, oh, well, he plays games or whatever. She goes, well, at least he doesn't do heroin or go drinking and driving all night or something like that. Yeah. Or, like, or like, or like, what like what if it was like, oh, no, I'm meeting the guys at the bar. Like, wouldn't that elicit a lot more, like, worry of, of his yeah. like, No, he's just – he's playing the game. He's sitting there playing a game. That's what he's doing. He's not he's drinking a beer. Bar yeah. Yeah, he's, right? Like, he's there. I, I feel like at times like it's like, yeah, okay, but it could be so much worse. Yeah, like it could be, like no, that's that's exactly what Amber says. You know, he could she he could be at a bar, you know, or a party, and he could be doing so much worse and stuff like that. You know, it doesn't matter. We're wearing a beard in front of a camera talking to dudes. Yeah, yeah the the only thing that sucks is that she just you know she she can't go to bed without me. So it's like you know Same the, thing. the night that you know I stayed up that one time we all stayed up to like three in the morning. It was probably like twelve for Clay or something like that. You know she was. <laughs> She was up, you know, she was still up, like, every yeah. time I was talking or did something, she's like, you know what I mean? That's why I moved the computer into the bedroom, because before I was out in the living room, and she said she wanted me to be in here with her. So I came in here with her, and now it's like, now i got to go to bed with her and stuff like that, too, so she can go to sleep. You i know, got a so question like, for you. Do you do, huh? like, the whole snuggle thing, and then when she goes to sleep, like, sneak out? No, you can't, off? because she doesn't. Uh, no, she, she wakes, wakes right up. She wakes Sarah's right the up. same way. Even when I go to the bathroom. Well, you have, you have fake clay to put there, though. You have fake yeah. clay. Just so recently, it. I was just going to say, I re <laughs> this is, I, Ian, I'm honored that you would remember that. That is so <laughs> awesome. You listen, buddy. So fake clay is doing a great job. Well, he's doing a great job, but he's also doing a fucking shitty job. <laughs> so currently, Sarah can fall asleep with fake clay. But at the same time, I really miss just snuggling with Sarah because fake clay is always in the fucking middle of the goddamn time. So it's like, it's like there's like a give and take. So like, yeah, I get to stay up a little bit later and kind of like get some stuff done or like get a little bit of me time. But the whole time you're thinking fake clay is getting it. Fake clay is just like getting his like he's just getting in there, and I don't like that at all. <laughs> I don't like that at all. <laughs> but <laughs> but you like get drunk tonight, but fuck you, fake clay. I gotta get in a fight with a fake clay. No, but like at the same time, yeah, yeah, when I do fine. go to bed with her, like that kind of sucks too. So like there's like there's like a pro and negative to it. But I, I echo what Steve's talking about in the sense that like yes, there there is like um, a little bit of symbiosis um, to that relationship. So it's like you know yeah, <clears throat> you, like she really wants you to be there. To, to fall asleep and, um, and that's, just like another, that. that's just like another element to it yeah pretty much it yeah um my but, wife yeah, and i have I like a, a, a not an understanding but she's like oh you're gonna go play a game i'm like yeah she's like i'm gonna go watch a show and like literally that's what we do boom she watches tv now yeah. there's times that i'm sitting out there on my playstation or something and literally like we could see each other through the bedroom door and you know if she could talk to me and everything i'm playing a game she's yeah. watching tv fucking yeah. like scram i mean i think that's healthy i also think that i think there's healthy that like um there's times like the best times um it's it's such a weird balance right like i can't i'm constantly thinking about it like there are times where sarah will go to yoga and i'll be like okay this is my time to play video games and like that's a great balance but like at the same time she is my best friend and i'm her best friend and like I also kind of want to be at yoga with her but like there has to be time where she hangs out with her friends she hang does her hobbies and i do my thing because like it's just what feeds her and these are things right. that feed me you know what i mean but like um a big part like a big struggle early on in our relationship was kind of like kind of letting go of that idea of like just being like okay yeah this is really weird and it doesn't feel right but you need to go do your thing and i need to go do my thing um and so <clears throat> I don't know. That was like that was definitely a weird thing, and like, I think well, I think there's still some like struggle with that. Yeah, yeah there, there's always going to be that because when you really think about it, like if you're up someone's ass 24 hours a day, you get sick of them. Like it doesn't matter, and you can't fart around them. Yeah. Oh no, I fart all the time around Taylor. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. You she, don't know us. Oh yeah. You got, if you want to go to YouTube uh, slash Millstorm Gamers channel, <laughs> you can listen to Ian peeing or farting. You know, on breaks, whatever you want to do. <laughs> Fucking happens. <laughs> It's like, huh? and I'm like, damn, man, you just—he's like, you can hear that, man. My mic's good. My mic's good. That mic's good. 
I, I tell my wife this. I, I don't deny it. I never deny it if it goes, yeah. Even if it's not a sound and she goes, did you just fart? I'm like, yes, yes, I did. You know, I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. That happened. I love, I love that Ian's fart <laughs> is a measurement of his mic's ability to pick up sound. <laughs> it is good. It's that mic's so good right there. That mic's good. That's <laughs> so funny <laughs> so uh if you want that kind of mic, go, go get a logitech <laughs> yeah logitech c10 oh, man, my mic's and good Monster. my mic's good <laughs> yeah awesome. we're not we're not doing company placements here okay yeah because you're yeah. constantly here saying oh that's a good flow he's got going that's a good hey listen flow. if logitech wants to sponsor us i'll be all game for that well, I don't know. You need to blur out all the Bud Light he's drinking because they got Oh, smoke yeah, too. that's true. Well, they probably wouldn't approve of this podcast. Uh, <laughs> this is drunk yeah. podcast. Not, like, you're talking about the founding yes. fathers, you asshole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We cannot support anybody who deems Edison and <laughs> Bell an asshole. <laughs> yeah. and did I or hear someone Columbus? say Washington was an asshole, too? Yeah. <laughs> no, dude, Swamp Fox? No it's way. Swamp Fox. I'm, that's what I'm calling him from now on. It, it wasn't Swamp Fox. I don't care. You've <laughs> planted that seed, and it is growing. <laughs> like, you talking about Swamp Fox? It's too late. Oh, yeah, Dude, I know Swamp Fox. George Washington is, will be forever known as Swamp Fox in my mind. <laughs> That's what that you is go, such a badass a- Metal Gear name. You have no idea. Hey, uh, can I get into that club? Well, my friend Swamp Fox says different. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, and, Swamp well, Fox. no, because they won't know what you're talking about. That's, you have to that's why Washington. you're not coming in. That- we're taking back Swamp Fox, okay? We're taking it back. <laughs> Swamp That's really good. I completely forgot about what we were talking about. First. I don't even know what we're talking about, honestly. I just... No, just games and relationships. Yeah. And so oh, another yeah. piece of this... That's right. Another piece of this is MMOs, which I'm singling out on purpose because I have... for like I just don't have any other data that has proved to be as significant as MMOs, in which case MMOs have caused people to... Uh, admittedly build a relationship and have marriage but they've also split marriage apart and relationships um, and I don't know I think I, I guess, please correct me if I'm wrong and comment below if there's been other games that have done this but I am not unaware of any other game besides MMOs that have, have caused as much stress um, to a relationship as as like something like World of Warcraft or EverQuest and I don't know if it's because of the it in uh, the amount of hours it takes, or the potential like social and environmental substitute that it brings, like being on an MMO is is practically going out and doing something. It's like I need to go to X town and hang out with X amount of people. And yeah, do Azeroth. This, right. Chill. Yeah, I need to go to Azeroth. I need to hang out with these people. And I need to do these things. And right. Like, what it's doing, right? I mean, you're 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 not hanging out with your significant other at that point. You are you are distancing yourself. You are spending all your time in this other place, regardless of how close you are physically. And I think that does like definitely do some damage to the well, relationship, right? But again, it goes back to balance. I I definitely agree with you there. But the one thing that I always said, because I I played EverQuest and everything, the thing that kind of makes that all happen is that while you're not on there other people are advancing and in the back of your mind you're like holy shit i'm falling behind i need to get on so i can keep up with the jeffersons yeah boom i have to keep up you know i have to get that right i have to get those cubes i have to do that to the east side to the deluxe apart yeah no i hear you it's an ever-living world so that's why i use the analogy of it's an actual town with a bunch of people doing stuff you're choosing to go and hang out with said people to do stuff because if you don't like work everyone else is right exactly so and uh what i was going to tell all the uh, fans out there is that that little comment about that song we actually texted all of us about that earlier today moving on yeah, I remember moving on. Oh up. yeah, we did. We did. Yeah. okay. We need a name for. Um, I love okay. I love the word fans, but like I don't know if we actually have. I don't feel like we're popular enough to say we have fans. Maybe we do. Clans, it would man. be awesome if you're a fan. I would love to hear from you. It would be so cool. But I think we need an actual nick. Like, I want our fans to become Maelstrom gamers. Like, if they become Patreon subscribers, like I want them to become, a Maelstrom gamer. Well, which no. would be awesome. Definitely, because every time I get on on the stream, I go, "Welcome back, Maelstrom Gamers." Boom. That's awesome. Yeah. Let's do that. That'd yeah. be dope. Yeah. That would be dope. 
Or we can call them bitches, too. I mean, nope. which one do you want to do? Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. Swamp nope. Foxes? We can call them Swamp Fox. Oh, Swamp Foxes. I think that's just the baddest nickname. Swamp Fox. Get on the shirt. Put on a shirt. Swamp Fox. Swamp Fox. Swamp Fox. Swamp Fox. Swamp Fox. Have a great job. For, all right. For those <laughs> wondering, we are going to have t-shirts. But, again, we're going to need some support. AKA patreon.com slash maelstrom gamers. Go on and support us, or you can go to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash maelstrom gamers channel, and you can support us there. There's a support button, you click on that, you can just add anything that you'd want, everything from a dollar and upward. Um, it's up to you. There's free ways to support us too. If you don't have cash, we totally understand that. Um, we really just want to entertain you, and that's really our passion here. So you can go and you can follow us on, uh, you can follow us on Twitter, you can like us, on Facebook, and you can subscribe onto YouTube. It's pretty difficult all of with helps. drinks. You can comment. Um, you can go on our Instagram account. It's all super, super helpful, and it's free. Um, we really like it. We've been getting a lot of comments about you know independent candidates and what we think about X Game. It's super awesome. We love it. We love the engagement, and we're gonna get back to you as soon as we can uh, and comment back to you. It, it, it's just a lot of fun for us. Uh, I hope it's a lot of fun for you. Um, we're also streaming live on YouTube.com because look, we tried Twitter, Twitter's or, or not sorry, we tried Twitch. Twitch is kind of cool, but like it's a little bit slow going. YouTube has got a lot more going for it, so we're going to be live streaming on YouTube.com/slash/MailstreamGamers channel. A lot. We're doing League of Legends. We're going to do Metal Gear Solid uh, Five. We're going to be do, doing a bunch of different games. Listen, we're not the best. We're certainly not the worst. But we, we are, are entertaining. entertaining. God, we're going to get better at this. we got to get better at this. Okay. Hey, it's hey, my mission moving forward this? to get better at this. I promise yeah. you. It's done. We're going to get better at this. You want to try it again? You want to try it again? Wait, wait, wait. Like, yeah. Is that five topics? Yeah. Yeah, that's five topics. Wait, wait, no, no. I did my yeah, it's five topics. Oh, and see, Steve was, Steve was going to be playing us out here. Listen, guys, we're really happy. We're glad you joined us on this uh, episode of Everything and Nothing show. Next week, we're going to have another episode for you. In the meantime, keep thinking about Everything and Nothing. It's been an honor to entertain you. Peace. Take care.